Hey guys, here will be a model review of the Ham HD 110 made by WSI in 150th scale. Now this model is completely amazing and definitely worth the price of $72 I believe. And it, it, for those of you that don't know, WSI is one of the top best um, creators of models. Just completely amazing, all detail. It's really nice. So, um, with that said, uh, I'll just uh, tell you a few little things about the model. One is, uh, it comes with, uh, this is the ROPS version, and I got the ROPS version because I've never seen a roller with an enclosed cab, but it's also the same amount of money for an enclosed cab on, I believe, on 3000toys.com. And, uh, that's basically all. But, yeah, so, great model. Give you a 360 here. Just amazing. Purely amazing. Alright, with that said, I'll get into detail now. So, here's the front of the machine. Um, uh, since there's a lot of small details, I will be using this piece, which is just a little pointer I use to show you. Point directly to them because there's so much. Right there, turn signal light, and then a regular light, as with this side. And another different, a difference between that and the uh, uh, enclosed cab version is there would be guards around the lights in the enclosed cab version, but I didn't like that, so another reason why I chose this. But these are the little clear shell pieces that they put over them on the nicer made models to make them look better. Bolt detail there and a bar running across and numerous little things. It's a little protecting bar. This whole piece is a little protecting bar of the roller. Whoa. I hit the camera, sorry about that guys. Here's the uh, ham badge, or ham logo. Um, to the side of the model, of course it says ham, bolt detail all around, and a little warning decal put in there. Um, the mirrors are plastic, as you can see they're a little bit wobbly but what makes up for that is they actually reflect which is really nice right in there you can see some bolt detail and you can also see where the lines come out there and they go in and they go into there which you can see in the roller and there's some detail there with a little warning uh, decal the roller this drum rolls pretty good. It gets caught a little bit. The other one isn't as good, but, you know, it rolls. It just... Whoa. I'm hitting the camera a lot. Sorry about that. It just... It, it gets stuck a little bit. And no, that has nothing to do with this bar right here. Which is just another protecting piece. Moving along. Right there. You guys can see it says Orchin Group, which makes a lot of milling machines and stuff, and I guess they own ham or something. And there's some detail there with some bolts and a handle, and some warning decals in there. And that, I'm not sure what that does, but I don't think it does anything. And then, one of my favorite features about this model... is hold on that way opening engine compartments which this side has the engine itself and it's very good detail in there here let me aim it towards the light you can see some filters in the engine and in here there's good detail on this side where the handle would be in. Very, very nice. Just 
snaps in place and it's a little bit tricky to open but not bad. If we turn to the other side, the other side's basically the same over here except for that. And there's no middle piece in the way the line's going, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. Um this side's a little bit harder to open. There. And it's the same on the door, except the engine piece on the inside. It's the other side, so it looks a little bit different. It's very nicely detailed. You got lines coming in, which it's really hard to see. But you have lines and numerous amazing detailed things in there. Turn back to the roller on this side. Everything's the same except for the roller drum itself. It's got a different way of connecting the lines in there and you can see the little uh, piece in there and then this, which I'm not quite sure what it does. Not the best with the rollers, but Correct me on anything that I'm wrong about, by the way. Um, up in front, there's the cover up there to some of your tanks, which you can see there's caps there for things, and it's indented. And some bolts. Moving along up into the cab, the top piece is nicely detailed, and those are indented, and it's a bolt detail, and that mid strip. Then you have a, another clear shell worksheet, work light, sorry, on either side, and then the back too. Also on the back is a nice clear warning beacon, or I, I keep saying clear, I should say translucent, meaning it allows light through, um, but that's on a little plastic setup there. And then all these handrails and everything are metal. Um, I think the mirrors and this are the only like plastic pieces except for the seat and the steering wheel this is all metal which is really nice oh and this no uh well this piece right here is plastic but the white is metal and all the clear little light sheets but that's really awesome how it's metal now the cab has some amazing detail and when I say amazing I, um, that's underestimating what I mean. Um, starting off on the, there's cup holders in there. There's all your uh, joysticks and it's even colored different little, uh, things in there. And I believe there's a parking brake in it. Just purely amazing. The steering wheel itself has the um, little light piece where you can hold it with your hand if you can see where it sticks out. Here. Right there where it sticks out. And then the seat is really nicely detailed. It's raised up. It's got all your joysticks and your uh, armrests and everything. Favorite thing about this uh, seat area is the seat rotates um, 360 degrees. Well, no, it doesn't. Sorry, it, it rotates 180 degrees. But if you saw that, and then it also moves from side to side. So, and. There's the rotation again, so you can see all around where you're working. And I just love that. 
Um, but anyway, I'll leave it up there in the facing forward. Well, I am not doing very well with the camera today. Here's all your metal bars here. You also have that same cover and your caps up here. Same situation. Back here, it's all the same bolt details and warning things as the other is up front, except it says HD plus 110 and oscillation instead of ham. Um, but everything else is the same. And there it says it's got it's the same as the front basically. Up here, up on this side, it's a little bit different than that side. But it's still insanely detailed in the Ham HD 110 oscillation. Right there is your fuel intake. And you have some little things. So for features, it also it turns like that. And it also turns like that. And you actually have little lines in there, hydraulic lines, that turn with it. And it's very detailed. Now underneath the cylinder setup is kind of confusing. You see how they're both kind of bent? It's because only one does the steering and you kind of got to do a little bit of work in order to get it to go straight again. And it's very fragile, those cylinders, because they are plastic and they, they bend. But even the bottom's quite detailed for a model. And if, if for, for a a roller model anyway. But the reason why there's that second cylinder is because you can offset the rollers for rolling a little bit wider space. If you can tell it's a little bit offset. I think it does it more to the other side. Definitely more to the other side. But you can definitely tell right there it's offset. So that's for doing a little bit wider of an area. Now I would compare it to like going by my paver, but I did that in the paver review. Um so, you know. Overall WSI did an outstanding job on this model. I am a hu huge huge fan of it. It has every little detail. Um it, there's very little plastic parts on it. It's got opening compartments. It's just all around amazing. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I look forward to maybe getting some more WSI models in the future. Now that I have this and I do have a sword model on the way, I'm going to start trying to get a little bit nicer models. Um, you know, I'm sick of the cheap Ertl models. So, that's that. Anyway, this was a model review of the Ham HD Plus 110 or HD110 uh, asphalt compactor or roller made by WSI in 150th scale. Amazing model, highly recommended. Uh, and thanks guys for watching, and I'll uh, look forward to that unboxing uh, within the next few days of that sword model and. Yeah, that, that's pretty much all, so thanks for watching, and that's all.